वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम जयेश गांधी एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज बाइनरी टू बी सी डी कोड कन्वर्जन यूजिंग एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर बाइनरी टू बी सी डी एंड बी सी डी टू बाइनरी आर द टू ऑपरेशन विच हैपन इन द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ द एरेथमेटिक ऑपरेशन वी परफॉर्म इन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स एंड माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स so let us try to see how we can convert the binary number into its equivalent bcd number as we all know that 8051 is a 8 bit microcontroller and therefore we will stick to 8 bit binary numbers for the conversion process if we try to understand the 8 bit system any register of 8051 which is an 8 bit register can hold numbers ranging from 00 to ff in hexadecimal number system that is equivalent to decimal numbers from 00 to 255 so 00 to 255 is the range of decimal numbers which can be represented using an 8 bit register let us try to see how the conversion takes place so subsequent division by 10 will help us to perform the conversion process into bcd numbers so when we want to divide by 10 that is equivalent to dividing by 0a in hexadecimal number system so what we have is the number fb and that number fb we want to divide by 0a or that is 10 in binary decimal so when you perform this division then what we get is the remainder is 1 that is found in register b and the quotient is 19 that is found in register a so this is in register a and this is in register b now the decimal value of the number in register a is 25 so one is isolated and it goes over here again we divide by 10 so 5 will be isolated it will go over here and we will get a 2 as the quotient so 251 that is the equivalent value of fb and these three numbers will store in three registers so that we get binary to decimal conversion so we have to divide by 10 two times and convert the given binary number into decimal number so let us see the program first and then we will simulate this program and see the whole operation so first assume some number in some register r0 divide by 10 right then put the remainder in destination divide again by 10 put the remainder in destination put the quotient in destination so fairly simple program it becomes very simple with 8051 because 8051 supports the division instruction if we use the if we want to convert the same thing in earlier processors earlier to 8051 then it is 8085 micro processor and it doesn't have any division instruction so let us try and see how we can simulate this program and see values of various registers after executing each instruction for the purpose of simulation we will be using atsim51 if you have not seen my previous video where i have described how to operate atsim51 please watch that video the link is in the description let us go ahead and try to see the atsim51 program so this is our atsim51 interface we write the program over here and view the results over here these are all the registers and the special purpose registers this is your data memory so let us first of all assemble this program the same thing which we have discussed so there are no errors we can go ahead with the execution of the program 
So in R0 we have assumed some number, it is FB. So let us execute this instruction, you find that FB has come into R0 register. Now the same value we have transferred to register A. So you make a copy of that value in register A. It is necessary to bring the operand in register A because A is responsible for all the arithmetic and logic instruction. One of the operand will always be in register A. So we have our FB in register A. In register B, now we want to put the value 10 decimal that is 0a in hexadecimal so that 0a has come over here. So now we are ready for the division process. A contains the number fb and b contains 10 so we will divide it. So once we divide it you find that the number 19 remains in the accumulator and 1 is the remainder in B register. So when you carry out this division operation, the quotient will go in register A and the remainder will go in register B. So now we will place the remainder in some memory location 31 hex. So that has gone over here 31 hex. So the least significant decimal digit has gone into 31 hex. This 19 is equivalent to 25 in decimal number system. So once again we divide by 10. So we take 10 in register B and then again carry out the division. So what will happen? In register B we will get the quotient and in register A, sorry, in register B we will get the remainder in register A, we will get the quotient. So we will put the remainder in the next memory location. So remainder goes into 32H. So that goes into 32H. That is what we see over here. And the quotient goes into the 33H. So now we have got 251. That is the equivalent value of the number FB which we have written in register R0 and tried to convert it. Let us take another example. A very interesting example is using the number 63 over here. As we all know that 63 is equivalent to 99 in decimal number system. So let us assemble and then just run the program, you find that 99 is available over here. And this bit has become 0. So the number is 99. Right? Similarly, we can go for the next number. We can give any number of our choice. So we can say that I want to convert the number AA. AA into its equivalent binary decimal number. So first of all we will have to assemble then run. A, A stands for 170. 170. So that is the answer. Next we can take one more example and then we will conclude the simulation. So one more example, we will take a single digit number, say for example, I uh, will take C. C is equivalent to 12 in decimal number system. And so let us assemble this and then run this. So C is 1, 2, that is 12 over here. So this is the MSB or the most significant digit that is 0 then 1 and 2 that are the other two significant digits. So we find that the conversion program works to a very satisfactory level. We can convert the 8 bit number by dividing the number by 10 that is 0a and we get the answer. 
so that concludes our tutorial today i hope you have enjoyed and understood the whole process please subscribe and like our channel and like the videos and support us for future development thank you very much